So, we've got Miss Zoe Bestel with me and um, probably my favourite ukulele player. Oh. Mike Crabbers gets a bit upset when I say that. But, uh, <laughs> they're, they're different. Um, so, uh, I saw you first saw you 18 months ago and I was absolutely gobsmacked. Oh, I don't know if you remember, I was oh, anyway, smitten. How would you say your music's developed since then? Um, oh, I think my songwriting's developed, uh, definitely. I'm more pleased with these songs that I've written recently. Um, and also I think my playing, I think te my technical ability's got better. I, mean, I used to strum quite a lot, but I've gotten into picking a lot more. Right. And, um, um, harmonics. I'm really into harmonics yep, at the moment. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think I think that's slowly progressing. I, I think I need to practice a bit more. But yeah, I think I think that's songwriting-wise, definitely. Good. <laughs> so we've we've heard your your folk style and and your soulful stuff, yeah. um, as well as a few covers. Jolene's particularly. Yeah. Oh, that chills me. What other genres are you going to explore with? Do you think? Oh, genres that I'll explore. You know, I've always wanted to be a front woman of a rock band. Right. Yeah. I don't think I'll go that Bass way player? with ukulele. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's quite maybe, cool. Yeah. Maybe. Are you cool enough, Simon? Yeah. Oh, I'm cool, friend. <laughs> <laughs> cool um, cats. Yeah, that's true. Cool cats. Uh, get a band of cats. That'd be great. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think. I think I'll probably stick with all my folk stuff. Um, I think I'd like to go slightly more traditional. I think. Uh, I can see myself with more fiddles and that music, but yeah. apart from that, uh, only on a couple of tracks, I'm not thinking of going, but I think yeah. my, my songwriter folk style is definitely what I'm sticking with. I think it, it, it's what, although it's not necessarily what I listen to, um, the majority anyway, it's something I really like performing, so okay. I'm happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> so I've, I've compared you, and it, you might get a bit embarrassed or you might not like some of this, but with people like Ellie Golding, Bjork, Pink, I Lily like Allen, like all sorts of different bits of them. But yeah. who who would you say has been an influence to you? An influence to me. Um, it's an interesting one. I get asked this a few times who my influences are. It's very difficult to um, choose who because I think when I, I was growing up, I didn't I didn't listen to people that sound like me. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I was very into. I liked uh, James Taylor. My parents used to play James Taylor. Mum's a big fan of Joni Mitchell. So right. there's a bit of that in there, but yeah, um, see that, yeah. yeah, it's I, I I listened a lot to the Who when I was younger in the car with my dad. Excellent. And so that was that was something I. But um, Kate Bush, Kate Bush and Joni Mitchell and all of those type of things. I think yeah, there's a there's a bit of Enya in there, I guess. Um, okay, yeah, I figured. Yeah, but I I don't know. I, I'm not quite sure. Probably <laughs> those. Mix with those somewhere. But you're your own woman, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I think I am. I think I am. <laughs> So I, I, I think you, you're destined for great things. Oh, I think you could do what you want, but what, what you know, there's lots of got to be lots of opportunity for you. What's what's your ambition? My ambition. Where do you want to be? Where do I want to be? Um, I want to carry on doing this. I, I enjoy making things, and I, am, I enjoy people enjoying me making things. Um, I've never really been into fame. It's not something that I want. If I get it. That comes with it, and I'll deal with that. But it's not—it's not something I'm going for. I'm not going. Well, I want to be famous, and I want to be—I don't know—any golding level. Um, that's not something I'm. I'm <laughs> we'll play this to back do. in ten years' time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's—it's it's not what I'm aiming for anyway. I'm just—I'm just very happy making music. Um, I think selfishly, I'm, I'm quite happy with just, just. I enjoy getting up on a stage and, and singing. Is something I think very therapeutic for me. Um, and I, I like the, the reaction it gets, I guess. Yeah. I think you can't not, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I enjoy doing it, and I enjoy making that little bit of art and going, there you go, see what you think of that, because it's scary, and it's it's exciting, and people seem to enjoy it, which is a, a complete added bonus. Um, and I, I just, I do enjoy doing it, and I'm happy just doing this forever, I think. I'm yeah. happy with that. Okay. Yeah. So apart from able to buy a car at some point, that'd be good. <laughs> I'd like that. <laughs> that'd be good, yeah. And then you could do interviews in the back of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like this with the, with the cat, very nice cat. So <laughs> apart from me, um, I hear that Prince Charles is one of your biggest oh. fans. <laughs> so what public figure would you be proudest to perform for? Oh gosh, uh, a lot of them have died recently. So oh, what's no. that about? I know. I, w I would have absolutely loved to meet David Bowie. Yeah. I think I think that's a I think that's just it's just just a legend. It would have been awesome to meet him as well as Alan Rickman. Although, um, oh gosh, famous people. 
Um, that is a really difficult question because I, I don't know. I, I think I'd want to meet people that rather rather than um, I'd want to meet people that I like. Yeah. Um, and I don't know whether I'd want to meet a musician or whether I'd want to meet an actor or whether I'd want to meet an artist. But um, I think it'd be very cool if I met Eddie Vedder. I think he's a cool guy, and I like his ukulele stuff. We'll make sure we tag this interview. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I think I think I don't know. Interesting people. I'm not. I'm not sure. That's quite difficult. Okay. Yeah. Well, I Maybe it. I should meet Dolly Parton. Yeah. Maybe we should do a duet. Yeah. I think she's an amazing businesswoman, so we might go with that. Yeah. That'd so it's cool. been a while since your first album. I keep yeah, nudging yeah, you. Yeah, it has been a while. I'm so sorry. So when Ooh. can we expect? Uh, right. And what, what okay. are we going to expect on it? Okay, well, I've, I've recently started playing a lot of the, the songs that I don't know if you've heard a few of my yeah. new songs. Um, but they will be on the album. I'm hoping to get it out this year. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's June now, but um, no, I've been planning on doing it for a while. The actual plan was to do it um, over the winter, but I, I failed at that, and that was my fault. Um, I didn't write fast enough, and I think I was also moving house, so I'm going to say that's a, that's a something. That, okay, um, mitigating. Yeah, but I, I think the winter was meant to be when I was relaxing and writing, and I just didn't get the inspiration at all. But it wasn't until we moved house recently, and a suddenly whole new wave of inspiration, so I'm going to blame it on the house. Okay. I'm going to say the house we were in. And you got all those sheep out the back and stuff. Yeah, like all that. the sheep out the back. It's <laughs> lovely middle of nowhere. It's great. Get some good inspiration for stuff. Yeah. So that's it. You, you live in Scotland. You're down yes. here. You're down here in the south. This is the furthest yes. south I've seen you. For yeah. a couple of gigs, two, wow. no, three, I think. Three I don't gigs? think it's the furthest south I've been. I've been to okay. Cool. Cool's okay. the furthest south, yeah. but yeah, I haven't never been here before. It's but been apart nice. from the fast broadband down here and the, <laughs> and the wonderful weather, what do you what do you like about the south? Um, I think meeting people like you guys. I think you and Crabbers are down this way, <laughs> so um, definitely that. Uh, I think it's nice to come come down here because there's not many people that know me um, in my little region. I'm, I'm, yeah. Uh, I'm I guess I'm a bit known, um, but down here it's fun uh, with a new audience of people that have never seen you before. I love doing that. I love going. Oh, I'll see how this goes. I'll see. And new audiences, it's great because the jokes all go differently as well. Things that I say, <laughs> they might find a lot funnier up north, and they might be a little bit oh, oh, more down south. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll find okay. out. We'll find out. All right. It's honestly different different places. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. It's funny because I know that we went there when we did a, a tour with um, me and um, Hind and Feckless and Fuddle. They are uh, in Otley, which was the first one. Everyone was really up for it. They were really having a great time. The further south we got, they got a little bit more. They didn't have as much to drink. I think that was All the right. thing. Mm, okay. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe the party vibe had gone. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, See, we'll, it's because we'll you weren't there. Here. It's because you weren't yeah. there, wasn't it? Uh, so you didn't bring the party <laughs> yeah, song. We didn't bring the cat. Didn't bring so. the cat. No, so. there was no could you party. write a song for my cat? I could. Um, I, I I think. I think I could write a song. I could put a cat in a song. Yeah. Would that work? We'll look out for Would it. That work. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm very intrigued by it. I'm turning the cat over. <laughs> um, so excuse me, cat. Um, mild soap. Yeah. I still don't get that. Do not soak sponge with warm water and mild soap. What? Most most cats are actually self-cleaning. They are self-cleaning. Apart from this one, that this is one. mild soap, and yeah. I still mild. So we'll have to find. As some... opposed to strong or weak soap. Yeah, we'll go into the shop and ask for mild you can... soap. <laughs> mild soap. <laughs> <laughs> so how many cats have you got? I don't have any cats. I no. love a cat. I love cats. I really like them. They're, they're, they're nice. They're nice things. They're, 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 I like that they're a bit. Um, they're their own. Thing dogs rely on you a lot, which is lovely, and yeah. I love dogs and I've had a dog, but um, I think cats are a bit more. I don't know, they're, they're, they've got some sort of character about them that they, they really don't care, and I, I find that funny. Yeah, and there's something about that that I, yeah. it's just is interesting. They're just, they're just there because they go, You are my slave, um, yes. you are my human slave, yes. and you are going to do this. And I find we that say we own cats, but yeah. they own us. They do, that's exactly what it is. It's something fascinating. Right? So, we mentioned Jolene, yes. Now, I don't know if you know, but I've written my oh. version of Jolene. Yes. You up for that? Yeah, definitely. Will you give it a go? Yeah, excuse me, Kat. <laughs> I've, got, I've got my um, rather dodgy words here. And, uh, there we go. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll play then, shall I? I like how I'm vegetarian. <laughs> this will go well. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you, please don't take my hand. Jolene, 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 Jolene Please don't take it just because you can My hand is in the fridge all night It's the apple lines that we both 
I can't afford to feed you, Jolene. Sorry. <laughs> and you sneak down when I sleep you. Eat all the things I like to keep for my lunchtime. Sandwiches, Jolene. I can easily understand. We share the milk, but not my hand. You don't know what it means to me, Jolene. <laughs> Have your choice of meat from the shops on the high street where my daily meats are on my Jolene. <laughs> I had to have this talk with you. Too much protein isn't good for you. You need to cut down on that Jolene. Do you know the course? Yeah. Jolene. Thank you. 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 Thank you.